uh, enough salt now if it boils in the corners then we need to add little bit salt add curry leaves and switch off the heat instant sambar is ready add a teaspoon of coconut oil to this for enhanced flavor now this is optional now i'm going to uh, use cabbage for the puriyal today now the easiest method to cut cabbage is to slice with a potato slicer now i have sliced the cabbage using the potato slicer is an easy way to slice cabbage than cutting this with knife now i told you i am cooking for two today so i normally do this if you are very uh, thorough with how much you need to cook then you please go ahead uh, i am not a very expert a pro in cooking so i normally do this i divide this into two now this will be enough when we boil it this will shrink a little more so this will be sufficient for two people now that's how i cook i cook now i'm going to boil little water add a little salt to it now when the water is started to boil i'm going to add cabbage Now the rice has been cooking for 15 minutes. I it's three fourth cooked, so I've uh, switched off and I'm just I've just closed it. It will uh, cook well in the heat itself. So you need not cook till it boils fully. It cooks fully. Now this is coming to a roll boil. I've kept in high heat. Now it has come to a rolling boil. Now I'm going to switch this off. Close the lid and leave it aside for five minutes. It will get cooked. Now the sambar. I'm going to transfer it to this. Now I have the required sambar and a little extra than what I had planned. Now rinse the sambar vessel once with water lightly. Now I have cut two tomatoes and added to the same vessel. I just rinsed it uh, slightly. I did not even apply soap. Anyway, we are going to boil it. I am adding half green chilli, two or three curry leaves. Now to this, I am adding. Quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, a pinch of pepper powder, a pinch of sambar powder, and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now I want rasam this much quantity of rasam, so I'm going to add so much water to this. add the required amount of salt now if you want extra uh, chili powder you can add chili powder now this is enough for me so i uh, since i've added the uh, green chili i have added only a little bit of sambar powder to this this pepper powder too for the heat so this is enough for me now i'm going to keep this in stove now i'm adding a small piece of asafoetida to this bring this to boil friends i forgot to add asafoetida to the sambar when we were making the masala so you please add asafoetida if you have powder you can add or i have fried the uh, solid uh, asafoetida so i am adding those pieces mix well now the rasam is starting to boil well now stop it and then cover it uh, there's no need to add the uh, whistle just cover this and keep 
it will the tomato pieces will get cooked in the heat itself now after 5 minutes see the cabbage is well cooked now in a colander strain this now after 5 minutes you can see that the tomatoes are cooked and the rasam is ready transfer this to another bowl now i'm adding curry leaves and coriander leaves to this since uh, this is country variety tomato and they are sour i have not added tamarind to this rasam today now in case your uh, tomatoes are not sour then you can add a tablespoon of tamarind extract to this it will taste good or you can even squeeze half a lemon to this before serving after adding lemon if you heat the taste of rasam goes off so before serving you can squeeze half a lemon you can do either of it now after transferring the rasam i'm going to rinse this vessel once again not clean it just rinse it start heating Just wipe this off with a cloth so it becomes dry. Now to this, add a teaspoon of oil. Now heat oil. Add quarter teaspoon jeera or cumin seeds. Quarter teaspoon mustard seeds. and one small red chili a few curry leaves one garlic slice leaf match so reduce the heat and saute till the garlic gets fried slightly Now transfer the tempura to the rasam. Now the rasam is tempered and ready. Now to the same pan, add some more oil. Add quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of urad dal. So now we have added mustard and urad dal. When the mustard seeds start to splutter, add a few curry leaves and half of the split green chilli. Now the urad dal is golden color. Add the strained cabbage, cooked cabbage. We have already added. Salt is that we are boiling it, so please just an add salt if necessary. Now the tempering and the cabbage has mixed well. Now I am adding one teaspoon of freshly grated coconut to this. Mix well. Switch off the flame, and our cabbage puree is ready. Now initially we divided into two and saw. Now see how it has shrunk and it has reduced in quantity. So this will be sufficient for two people. Fry a little papad or vadam. No lunch is complete without vadams or papad. Now the rice is well cooked and ready. I'm going to strain it. Yes, sir. Now within a period of half an hour, we have finished everything.